Welcome back to Raven Willow Farmstead. Part of our dream of owning a farm was to raise our own chickens and hatch them using our own incubators. We were just so excited to watch the hatching process. The, yeah, look at the dot is moving. And we wanted to share in our experience of hatching our first eggs as beginners. And we hope you'll join us on this exciting new adventure. By day seven there, they say they're supposed to be able to move inside the egg. Do you see him moving around? Not really. The, yeah, look at the dot is moving. Any second. Oh, there he goes. Number two. Oh, there's a light in a dark spot. So there's... Oh, let's see. Is he gonna move? Yep, it's moving. Okay. Oh, sweet. That's good. So we just candled all of our eggs for day 10. And there's 14. 14 eggs in there that we got. And all of them have really good veining a well-established air sac and we could see each egg moving like the the chick inside so we're so happy <laughs> we weren't sure when we started this because it's our first time doing it how it would go um, but we're so thrilled for day 10 and hopefully nothing happens between now and the end but they should hatch april 28th oh there's an air oh, sac. Oh, there's an air sac. And there's... Oh, I see veins. Lots of veins. So I don't... Oh, there's movement. Yeah, you see the flutter? There's a baby chicken there. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to see the heartbeat or something. It's hard to see the heartbeat when it's already like getting covered in feathers. It's so moving. Um, um, that doesn't look great. Just, I think that one's a quitter. Right? Like when it all just pools on one side. Which is too bad. That's... There's mm, like a mess there. That's so sad because we saw them moving just like eight, seven days ago. So Caitlin and I had never hatched chickens before. And so having the opportunity of hatching our very first chickens on the farm came with a lot of excitement and a lot of apprehension. We wanted things to go well. So we were nervous about trying to make sure we did everything right. Day 20, we should see these guys pipping today or tomorrow. The latest that they can pip is day 23. They haven't hatched by day 23. Chances are they won't. So we're really hoping that um, we'll see some action today or tomorrow. There's a couple of eggs in there that are late. They were like, what, one or two days late that we added them on after. It's kind of nerve wracking and nervous. Like, are they actually gonna hatch or not? But the last candling, they all looked really good. So they should hatch. I'm gonna head back out to the garden and keep clear. Break. Break. I think there's a pip. <laughs> he runs. <laughs> oh, this better not be a false alarm. <laughs> I think I saw it. I think it's a pip. Okay, do you see that little line on the egg right there? I don't see any movement. Just look at it closer. Use your eyes, Rob. Oh, on this more. line that's like vertical. I see that. Hey, that's just a mark, Caitlin. No, no. If you watch it closely. It's a dirt mark, Caitlin. What? <sighs> Oh my gosh, the suspense. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm seeing things. Well, thanks for running up here for nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, cardio is good for you. This one. Yeah, see a move? 
Oh. It so is. It just moved. Oh, it's definitely moving. That is so cool. He's ready to rock and roll. There's the pip. Oh, he's moving. Oh, there's two of them chirping now, back and forth. <laughs> so the birds are gonna see when they hatch. That's <laughs> on the counter. Crazy. <gasps> there it is. <laughs> you can do it. Life finds a way. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> you can see where his little egg tooth is trying to get through the shell. She's like ready to get out of there. She's oh, really oh, pushing out. She wants out. It's like very little bit, and then all of a sudden she's just like, no, I'm getting out. Is it there? Because if these are barred rock chicks, those are that one there is. There's a couple in there. Yeah, that one's barred rock. Oh, look, 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 look. Wow, she's just going down. You can oh, see the groupie. Her. He's coming out. It's like hanging out by a thread. She's exhausted. Oh, yeah. Aww. Oh, look at this. That's hard work. That's a lot of hard work, but she made it out. Because I always thought that all chicks were just yellow and puffballs. Well, you tell all your sisters, time to wake up. <laughs> time to get out. <laughs> There's always that one. The early bird that wakes everyone up. <laughs> Do you see the little, like, tooth on the end of her beak? Oh, yeah. The egg, egg tooth? Yeah. You have a ton of room to move around in there. No. Your biggest struggle's over. Look at her eyes. Yeah. You are the strongest of them all. We shall name you Little Beak. <laughs> Little Beak? <laughs> Look at her. She's oh. standing up. Oh, I can't wait to hold you. <laughs> oh, there she goes. And she's off. And everybody's going to get rolled. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what it's going to sound like in our house for the next four weeks. You're not allowed to go near the chicks. <laughs> Good. It's okay. <laughs> She's purring because she wants in there to eat it. No. You think she's gonna go motherly? You've seen cats do that sometimes. Well, it's very rare. I will s believe it when I see it. But you're not going to get the chance. Get off, he says. <laughs> it's officially a zoo in here. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're going to be working with them lots. Yeah, that's they're right. going to give us eggs too. Yeah. And, you know, you got a tough guess. You calm yourself. Calm yourself. I'm so excited. So cute. Oh my gosh, this cat. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. Oh, number two. Oh, well, she's just really tired. <laughs> she's resting. There, yeah, she's just resting. She just popped out. There you go. <laughs> you had me worried for a second. Trying to get out. Get out. <laughs> Did she wake you up? Making all that ruckus. This is the brooder we have set up for once they're fluffed out and ready to go in. And then we've got our feeding tray, the chick starter. A little bowl of grit and then our thermometers in there we've got a couple of little heat domes here heating lights yeah just pine shavings inside of a tote that Rob designed with zip ties and hardware cloth oh number three is hatching And then there were six. Have three hatched overnight. We had three when we went to bed and two pipped eggs. They're getting a little crowded in there though. So we're trying to decide if we should take them out. Alright, so we are making the decision to move these guys into the brooder. Uh, they've been in there uh, hatching for almost 24 hours. Uh, there's six of them now, and we're not seeing any pips on any of the eggs that are left in there. So, it's getting a little crowded for the little guys. Uh, it is a small incubator, so we're going to make the decision to uh, to move them into their brooder. We've got a bit more room, yeah. We've got their food, their water. We'll take the day to see if any of the other eggs hatch uh, throughout the day. If none of them hatch at the end of today, chances are they're not going to. Um, there may have been some that just that didn't work out. You can actually, yeah, just open it up in here. It's so smart. Strangely enough, our cat has been interested, but not in the way that you would think a normal cat would be. Like when she sees prey, usually she makes like a weird, like chittering, barking noise. Let's get the water in there first as well. Maybe on your side? Yeah, cause we're gonna put the, wa the light on one specific side. We're gonna need a different watering situation. Oh, cheap, cheap. Are we gonna keep try to keep the humidity in there at all? Like over half of it, you mean? Yeah, just to try and keep some of the humidity in. Want some food and water? Don't mind me, I'm just kind of. How do you get their beaks? I've seen people do it. Oh, I'll show you in a second. Okay, cool, here you go. Want to me? Well, you kind of got in the way. <laughs> well, yes, there are some of them on you now. 
I think this is Little Beak. This was the first girl out. Hello. Hello. This is the straight one. She looks like she has eyeliner on. Yeah. Well, at least they know our voice and they've been Hello. <laughs> watching a serathon for how long? Yeah. Watch something. Oh, I could just stay here all day. Why do I have to go to work? <laughs> you know what? They'll still be here when you get home from work. Oh, they just crawled into my hand. <laughs> I am your mommy. For our first time, it's not too bad. Let me see how the rest of these do today. You have to take lots of photos and videos. <laughs> They'll still be here when you get home. I know. <laughs> They're adorable. We have two that are striped. He's watching his chicks. <laughs> we're just spending a little bit of time with them, trying to make sure that they're tame and they know us, imprinted or whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's a split. What? Popped out on this side. He must be like wrapped up in a ball. Oh, there he comes. <laughs> yeah, look at him. And just like that, there were seven. He was all black, so we named him Raven. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so happy to be out. Man, these chicks grow up fast. It's only day five of life and they've already got a couple feathers growing. Like it's so warm. It doesn't want to leave my hand. The three youngest ones have taken to laying on my hand under the spotlight. I thought they all just kind of face plant down into the shavings when they're sleeping. It's kind of funny. And batch two was ready to hatch only a few weeks after the first round. These guys contain mostly the barred rock that we retrieved from Miramichi and they were the guys that I was really gunning for. I really want a good strong flock of barred rock. They're pretty much the wonder bird of all the different categories that I want out of a chicken. So I was really excited to get these hatched. That one behind it just pipped. It did.
Yeah. The middle one. You need to uh, press it. Yeah. There's also a bright one. He's like, I'm done with this. Cool. You really are so clumsy. The claw. Oh, there he goes. Oh, you see his umbilical cord. Oh, what was that? Did you just get a haircut? <laughs> what? Did you get sucked into the vent? It was like the fan cutting off for like the, the fan. Yeah. Oh, his little feathers are up there. Oh my gosh. That must have been an experience. We have four in there now. Well, at least we recorded it. Aww. That was a fresh one. We went outside for what, 10 minutes? Came yeah. back, and there's another chick. The blood through, you know, through all their appendages. And... So once both batches were done hatching, we ended up with about a 50% hatch rate, which isn't ideal, but as beginners we were quite happy with that. Part of it could have been the incubators not keeping humidity or temperature, could have been just our inexperience, or there could have just been some variables with the eggs to begin with. If any of you experienced hatchers out there have any tips or tricks for us, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one. Caitlin is on her way home. Got a surprise coming for you. They're just the cutest things and they love human interaction. And she wants a cuddle chicken so bad. Well, it ain't a chicken, but it'll cuddle. Can't wait to see her reaction. Oh, what are you?